<laughs> yes. Is Tim Allen Canadian? I'm actually now curious. I doubt he is, but I don't know. I, don't, I have no reason, I have no proof. Well, I, either way, well, on hand. For all we know, his neighbor probably is. Is Tim Allen even exist? Yes, he does. Well, he used to. Not sure what he's doing so, nowadays. He's still doing stuff. Yeah, he is. He's doing that new... Well, I know he's still doing sitcoms. Yeah, he's doing that other show, whatever it's called. Oh, okay, so... Um, I, go ahead. I was, I was just trying to remember the name of the show. I'll look it up later. So, Last Man Standing, that's it. That was it, yeah, you're right. That's when I saw him on. So, what we gotta do is the, the uh, heart and lungs are being used to power these trains indefinitely, forever. So the only way we can actually get... And the problem is that since they're running indefinitely, these trains are never going to stop ever which actually hours. makes loading the trains really a pain in the butt this actually is a really horrible plan i know right but like, in any case air oh, wow, power we made a trains. lot of money quick yeah no you make a lot of money here really ah, fast so jean Bassan, the, the is he the precursor to sonic riders no not that one also yeah do you notice whenever you steal uh gems and stuff you make a lot of money well, no, dur. They're the they're the bit they're the big boy bucks. And we're not talking glass either. Nah, this isn't gonna sell for much. Maybe. Hmm. All right, now I'm trying to see if I can get enough for that sound obliteration to appease hype. Do you have riches? You do. Well, James said too. Only bitches get did. riches. There we go. Hey. Ooh. That's a big one. All right, that should be enough. Let's go back, so I can get the sound obliteration and appease them. If I could get a few more rubies, I could have all the servants I could ever ask for. Ha. <laughs> there we go. You know, and considering how much treasure we seal, like, we only get 100 coins for a uh, ruby. Yeah. Yeah, the, so, the, the exchange rate has been, has been pretty shit as of late. Yeah. So, finally, we now have a permanent, really good upgrade, which is that from now on, whenever we do our takedown, even if it would normally be within view of people... It will now. We will now defend. We will now defy the laws of physics and create a small portable black hole. Nice, and obliterate the enemy without detection. Another cookie. Jesus you know, I'm kind of slight. like so. Uh, going back to that uh, that uh, Ruby remark and how much it only it how much it sold for like a hundred. It kind of reminds me of the econ at the economic standpoint of RuneScape because you could. Uh, What's it called? Wait, what happened? Wait, what would happen? Whoa, what happened? Wait, hang on. Whoa, what's uh, up, Ben? Where? What? Oh, this again? Oh, no. <gasps> Inspector Fox. Caramelita. Oh, oh, and she's styling a cute little beanie. There she is. Hey, she, I still well, love, I still love, uh, I still love the initial remark in the uh, SGB playthrough where John and, <laughs> John originally thought she had a teapot on her head. <laughs> So, no, don't try and keep warm. <laughs> no, but... Alright, so... It's, all, it's also a nice visual metaphor for whenever she's pissed off. Her endless anger manifests into a fucking teapot on her head. Uh, uh, meanwhile, Billy's actually having a pretty actually, emotional moment. So now uh, we have to take the keys from... Why, are you sure it's a good idea to continue standing on the railroad? Shh, it's Shush, fine. Bro. I wash my road rotor curtains. Oh, they only get I want to see this coyote. happen. Wait for it. And... Oh, you think they would have seen each other? Oh, oops. Oh wait, because they do have this... AI to attack oh, one another. Oh jeez. Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, why I did didn't you? Think do gonna, I didn't think it was gonna make that much noise. <laughs> it's also that close long. to him. Also, oh yeah, Ooh. that's right. I also got him. For, I also got him away from uh, Carmelia, so I can like keep an eye on her without having to deal with him. So are we just tailing her, or do we have to steal something? No, no, we we're tailing her because we have no idea where she's holding Murray. Right. Right. Even though, you know, you could just explore on your own fruition and eventually you stumble across them. Technically, yeah, we, did did. Pass, we did pass by the, the holding cell oh, you seen kept, kept in, like, a while ago. We just didn't bring right. it up. Also, as you notice, whenever she stops... Also, be careful, because she does do the jumping thing like she used to. But be careful. If she ever stops in place... Also, by the way, currently, there's her, there's her base. You could have easily caught Bentley well, how, in the window. Well, how, does she, how would she know that that's our base? Did she not that's see the true. truck in the garage? <laughs> no, that's around. That's to the right. She would oh. go around the right. 
But anyway, um, yeah, whenever she stops in place, Actually, she's about to spin around. So the remark careful. of the truck. Re uh oh. 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 Let's here we go. First scuffle remark with the truck reminds me of. Oh, here we go. Fight. Sure, that's fight, really a good fight, idea. Fight. Fight. And whenever <laughs> she gets into a fight, she'll shake her fist around like, ah. You're not me. Cooper. Dude, she fucking Sorry. obliterated him. Yeah. Like we didn't Harder. obliterate the past two guards. Yeah. We're all killers. Anyway, back to you. We're all horrible people. Uh, but yeah, just going back to the joke with the truck, it's like, could she not recognize the truck? It reminds me of the joke from the Muppet movie where it's like, do you see a frog and a bear and a brown Stradivaker? No, sir. I just see a frog and a bear and a rainbow Stradivaker. <laughs> <laughs> ha. And yeah, just be very careful. And yes, and as I mentioned in the previous part, uh, she wasn't around the overworld yet, but now that we've encountered this mission, yes, Carmelita will now be in the overworld at all times throughout this world, so be very careful. Is her character that... model twice as tall as you are? This is the only... We're just, we're always hunkered down is the problem. No, she's the same height. She's the same height? You sure? Yeah. It's, it's not like Sly 1 oh, where she was oh. a straight... It's not like Sly 1 where she was a straight up Amazon. Mm. Right. Also, we found Murray. The Murray. This moment it's I do like. Don't tight. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight. I have a I'm name, you know. Still. I'm okay. And I, I know. I jelly beans. I was starving. Wow. Oh, the jelly beans. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all. <laughs> aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? <laughs> oh, Seriously. look at that. I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela. Well, could you done that to us earlier? Alright, Captain. Wow, just way to rub in the salt, Murray. Well, she, well, he is stuck in an electric shock box right now. I do like that. Yeah. I will admit, I do like that little moment between her and Murray. It's like she does generally somewhat care for them. Well, yeah, like she's she's, she's not a monster. She's, she's much more passive. She's, she's much more passive with uh, Bur uh Mentley, compassion. Bentley and Murray compared to Sly. Well, yeah, yeah. Sly's, Sly's always been kind of an ass to Carmelita, though not not exact. Well, good natured, granted, but you know he's always played 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 tricks on her. And he's always played got, coy with her. Exactly, and that's why <laughs> nice that's why she there. that's why she doesn't have as much mercy for him as she does for Bentley and Murray. Yeah, there's a nice expression. At the, at the, at the, at the, at the yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they're just accomplices to her. So this is how this part works. Oh, oh bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Run! Hey, she's away! busy. Oh. What? So. Whoa, what? you Ever? nearly got Oh, gosh. Oh, God, now we got oh, the moose on her tail. Whoa. Whoa. On the ice. Run. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, so. that was close. Well, this at least is, she's, oh, yeah. well, at least she's not smart enough to just follow us through the ice. Oh, gosh. Oh, bear traps. No, but now she's moles. following the moose. That's following and you. the moles. Holy crap. You sure this <laughs> Do you want to take the treasure as well? <laughs> By the way, no. So, so hey, Logan, are you regretting not buying the smoke bomb now? I don't need it. Even though that actually, even though I realize that would actually speed up this mission a bit more. To be fair, that's like one of the most useful items in the game, Mister. And you I won't, never and you used just shirked it. it. Well, I use it, dude. I use it all the time. It's a, it's a fucking lifesaver and a half, and it saves a lot which, of time. Which, yeah, I'll admit, yes, in a mission like this, now that, in a mission like this where you need to immediately avoid detection, it'll reset her timer, so... And say, if, and, say, and say if you only have to deal with one guard, you can just use the smoke bomb, the uh, big guard yeah. will just, will be confused on, you can use that to use, do a silent obliteration. Or oh, nice. Oh, gosh dang it. Uh-oh. So the way this... Uh, I'll, okay, oh, next, maybe next time I play it. Maybe does Sly, Sly Three have that ability? Yes, all game, all the, all the, all the um, sandbox games have a smoke bomb. Then I'll get Sly Three. Okay, so, so this is how this works. I'm honestly surprised oh, that um, she didn't notice you uh, when you were just right walking around. like ten feet in front of her. Spotlight, dude. But yeah, no, the way this works is whenever you pickpocket, she will immediately notice. So you need to run the second afterwards. And you have to wow. find an appropriate hiding place. Yep. She can't get killed by the train, though. No. Nope. Can she get yelling. hit by she's the a, train, though? She's a... I don't she's think she can. Oh, hey, you know what? Game. Just goes, goes to show that she's still an Amazon Amazon to a T. And actually, speaking of which, that actually just make me think. Like, the fact she notices you the moment you start pickpocketing her, it's like, she must have some tight-ass pants to feel that. She recognizes that cane feel. And last key. She recognizes that feel from anywhere. Ooh. She 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 oh. she remembers. She knows how she knows how he oh boy Cooper's a feel. Shock pistol. So how much damage oh, okay. does the uh, shock pistol do on him? Jeez, uh, it hurts. 
Oh, jeez. You will can't. never catch me. <laughs> this is the day you oh, almost God, caught yeah. Sly Cooper. It's you like haven't seen the last of me, Sly Cooper. See, it's moments like that that uh, that's why I love this level so much. Just for this. Get your raccoon. And we, oh, you can see Wait, wait a minute, did I just see the goddamn yeah. shot pistol yeah. just... Oh my god. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that was a, I guess that was a stray fire from the shot pistol going... Well, it, it really does go into infinity. Holy shit. That's a sight to behold. <laughs> yeah. So oh, you, oh there's a sapphire. There's oh, your sapphire. That. Oh, Ruby, Jim, a shooting star. Quick, make a wish, eh? <laughs> and yeah, sapphire was my favorite. I, I played that more than me. Ruby. <laughs> I just didn't care too much. By that point, I was burned out of Pokemon. Uh, honestly, that was what helped sort of reignite my passion. Oh, well, I've, uh, I, now I think about it, I've never really been, I've never really stuck with Pokemon more than one game at a time. Like, I never went directly from Ruby to the next one. I, I kind of stopped for a bit and then played Diamond and Pearl. I think yeah, I played Diamond. Go. I mean, that's my first Pokemon game. I've only dedicated my time to a wee bit of Gen 1, mostly Gen 2, and some of Gen uh, 7, and that's about it. Trolley Horse? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Weird. Yes. See you back at the my word, my That's thoughts weird. exactly about that phrasing. <laughs> yeah. It's all games. Well, one mission down. And so. this crazy raccoon head. You saw nothing. So, what's our next mission? <laughs> raccoon head. Raccoon brain. Okay. Alright, so here's our next mission. Do, 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 do. So here's our next mission, which is pretty cool, but also very dangerous. Yes. We, In order to get into each of the trains, each of the iron horses, we need to blow off a box that's, on, that's located on the caboose. It's, But the problem is that it's like, it's like bolted and like clamped shut. We need to blow it up with a bomb from very unstable spice. And... That means we, but the issue is that once we touch ground, we have very little time before the pressure catches up and the thing and the spice explodes. Which means you first have to land on all the balloons and not mess up, otherwise you're screwed. Then you have to land on a fast-moving train on its caboose, literally the last the last possible car you have before you're just in the ground. And it, it sucks. And let me just. That's the best I can. That's the most I can say. It, 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 it's something that even scares Sly's hat. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Yeah. Uh, little tip. Don't try and chase down these trains. Try and come at them head on so that they come to you. Otherwise, they will outrun you most times. Yes. <laughs> also, fun fact I learned. So, I learned that liquid oxygen is extremely volatile. Liquid oxygen? Yes. It is possible to uh, fr to uh, freeze oxygen down to a point where it like con condenses and turns into a liquid. Same with any gas. But can you Let's breathe go. it? No. You can't breathe liquid dude, oxygen. It's sol It's solid, dude. Yeah, it would. Freaking no, it's liquid. Also, not solid. Okay, how about can this? You drink liquid oxygen. How about this, Icky and Hype? If you did that, then the liquid oxygen would most likely explode in your neck and blow your head off. You wanna know why? Because it bunches up. Because liquid. Because liquid oxygen is so volatile that just the mere and okay, we're ready. Liquid auction is so volatile that simply the the act of friction is enough to combust it. Oh, speaking of which, I don't think you're gonna uh, you're gonna cut this pretty close, Dan. Right, and admittedly, this drop does down. look pretty fun. Got it. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I I just I really wanted to get to that point. No, auction is like you don't even need an ignition source. You just need friction, and it will immediately combust. Uh, my one of my co-workers... Okay, then you have to just come back. You have to go back by foot to the plane. Um, one of my co-workers was showing a demonstration. He took, like, a small little bit of grease, put it in a little Petri dish, took about maybe, you know, maybe two milliliters of liquid oxygen, poured it in very carefully, and had a mallet. And he was behind a blast shield. Everybody was all, like, thinking he was crazy, you know, freaking out all that much. He ha he hits it with the hammer. It sounds like a gunshot. Oh, Jesus Christ! And that was with who? That was with a little bit of liquid oxygen and uh, like, as he described it, like one booger's worth of grease. Yikes! And Ugh. explosion. There is like some urban legend. I actually want to look into it to see if it's true or not. There's apparently an old urban legend that. Uh, oh, don't worry. The hitbox of these balloons is also pretty. Um, pretty, pretty. Wait pretty, a pretty, minute. Yeah, like, Large. Yes. Wait a second. What's up? Are the exploding balloon symbols literally just maple leaves? Maple leaves. Yeah, yes, they're, they're maple leaves. leaves. Oh my. 
Oh, Canada! I'm not gonna. Oh, yeah, you're not making that. Unless, unless I make a beeline for it. Come on. Yes. Yeah! Oh wow, that nice. actually counted. So, so, so it can just be anywhere. On, so it can just be anywhere on the car. Thank goodness. And I'm right by the plane. So, um, oh, so apparently, right there. There's an old urban legend that and I, I'll look into it to see if it's true or not. That a man, a man was going to a liquid oxygen facility. Right. Mm -hmm. He was inspecting that. He was inspecting a leak. Because unfortunately, some liquid oxygen had spilled onto the floor, and it had already started reaching room temperature and expanding into an entire gas around it. Because when a gas, when a liquid evaporates, it spreads quickly. So, the rumor has it that he had a little bit of grease on his boot, or something like that. And so, as he was getting out of his car and took a step on the ground, that was enough to cause friction and ignite the gas and ex and it blew off his legs. This is sounding oh. like a forensic files plot. But, yeah, no, liquid oxygen is no joke. And that's why gas is... Boingy. Oh, jeez. That's a bit excessive. And... It oh, makes for a bigger God. boom, though. That would have not worked. Thank you. Ooh. So there we go. That was actually the best I've ever it done on this. That was actually the best I've ever done on this freaking thing. That was a break on mission. And that was chemistry. Ooh. It was like this. Uh, but what do we do now? Uh, I think we have one more mission. Oh! Oh, uh, Sly? Oh, we just- yes. oh, looks like the train just ran over somebody, their coins went everywhere. Oh. Oh, Bentley. Oh, we did Bentley. Yeah. So, going back to the safe house. Oh, Bentley. <laughs> oh, Bentley! Stuff. When you came and... Is... <laughs> Go ahead, Hype. Oh. We don't really listen to these guys. Uh, that was just trying to remember if this is- I think the one I'm thinking of is a Murray mission. Uh, if it's with the one with the bears, yeah, that's a Murray mission. Yeah, that'll be later. But it's coming. Yeah, because I was about to say that has one of my favorite bits of back and forth. Uh, we'll be quiet for that one, but anyway. Okay. Let's uh, see if... I wonder if I... Show, I wonder if I... Uh, I, I gotta show off the jetpack. Yeah, okay, so... Let's give it to L2. Extend Whoa. your jumps by hovering in the... I gotta do more There's... yoga. My legs are killing me. So, check it. Yay! So much for the yoga oh. test. Okay, let's just go up here. But it's cool. It's a lot better in the third. It's a lot better in the third game, though. Horse number one should be passing by any time now. Okay. Ooh. I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Yes. Just jump on the. That's the idea. The oh right, that's right. Crap. This, this one's uh, this one. Since there's three clockwork parts to find, we're actually going to be getting a part as early as this like mission right now. Oh, huh? that's right. Bentley gets yeah, time to shine Woo! the clockwork yeah, part. For some reason. Whoop. Because, yeah, that's actually something we that I don't think we dwelled on too much. Because John Bassan, who's so devil damn greedy, has technically four clockwork pieces. He's been four yeah, clockwork right. pieces from the clogging. I guess they just felt it'd be safe for him, especially... Yeah. Wow! To be fair, to be fair, Rajon had Oop. two of them, so... I think it only makes sense that... Oh, crap, here Run. come the hawks! Oh, no! Oh, no, those are Falcons. Oh, those... boy. No, those are Falcons, aren't those they? Are... Those are brave eagles. Or yeah, they're brave Sorry. eagles, Brave eagles. You mean, bur uh, bald eagles. I was, I was wrong on both of them. <laughs> bald uh, I should have done something. Oh, you don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to offend them that badly. Oh, I messed up. Ah. <laughs> Bye! I'm sorry. Were there just like clown horn sound effects there, or was I mishearing? No, that, 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 that is, that is, that is, that is like... a. Oh, oh God! Oops. You killed him. He hit him right <laughs> off the train. Sorry, yeah, no, that was just aggressive. Oh crap! He's already awake. Ooh. Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe it wasn't ha such a good idea to alert the guards. <gasps> Had this been the laws of physics, that would hurt. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Curse I knew the power of this oh, metal plated floor. The true cannonball run. Oh, I, I still love that power up. Okay. Let's move. He, oh crap, he already's on to me. There we go. Let's bail out. Okay. Ooh. Headshot. Better put nice. trying to put these bozos to bozos to sleep. <laughs> Please. Move. Agree. Just jump over him. Or just blow him up. Oh, that didn't that work. work. Yeah. Because oh, you're above him. Ah, perfect. Okay, now he's awake. Oh, now woke <laughs> Okay, now Oops. he's good. Bye, well, guys. some shit if you, you only can keep one 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 mook asleep at a time. That'd be adorable. All right, clockworks. Clockworks lung. And this train is done for. It's yeah. really weird the pieces he has. Actually, he has two lungs and a stomach. 
Oh, I thought it was the heart. Oh, no, God. I'm so sorry. I misspoke. Frickin' Rajan had the heart. I'm sorry. Yeah, the stuff. Uh, he had two halves of a heart. Yeah, so with that said, join us in the next part when we will be working to contain the la- the next uh, lung. And then I'll just leave the stomach. But yeah, join us for the next part. One Bye-bye. question before we end things off, though. How do oh, we just it. destroy the pieces of clockwork? Oh, well, because we don't know how to. I don't know. We've tried. But you'll see why later. Bye, everybody.